For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have this force of 90 pounds acting, uh, and they want you to find the force acting parallel and perpendicular to the uh, diagonal force that goes from point A to point B through the grid. The first thing you need to do is find all the points involved. The position vectors of these points involved are 1.5i plus 0j plus 0k and b is 0i plus 3j plus 1k. So now vector a b is vector b minus vector a and it comes out to be negative 1.5i plus 3j plus 1k. Now you need to find the magnitude of this vector. The magnitude of this vector is the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square and it comes out to be 3.5 and the unit vector AB can be found by dividing the vector AB by its magnitude and it comes out to be negative 0.429i plus 0.857j plus 0.286k so that's the first vector that we need, the unit vector AB the second Cartesian vector form that we need is the Cartesian vector form of the force which we know that its magnitude is 90 pounds now this Cartesian vector form has an X component a Y component and a C component the C component very easy to find. It's this component right here is aiming straight up parallel to the C axis, positive C axis. So simply by doing the magnitude F times the sine of 60, which gives us 77.9, gives us that vector. Now we're going to find this vector, which is the projection of F into the X and Y plane. As you can see, this vector runs along parallel to the X and Y plane. So this projection can be found by doing this magnitude f times the cosine of 60 and it comes out to be 45. Now that we have this projection we can easily find the x component which is actually the x component is this one right here and the y component is this one right here. So the y component can be found by doing this projection that we just found times the cosine of 45 and the x component can be found by doing this projection times the sine of 45. So this comes out to be 31.82, 31.82. However, the x component is negative since it's going towards the negative x-axis. So it's a negative uh, value. 31.82i plus 31.82j plus 77.9k this is the force vector if you want to find the projection along AB of F all you got to do is the dot product of F and the unit vector AB that will give you the projection of F along AB so F is negative 33.82i plus 30 sorry that's 31.82 31.82j plus 77.9k and the unit vector is negative 0.429i plus 0.857j plus 0.286k now 31.82 times negative 0.429 comes out to be 13.65 is positive because negative times a negative is a positive plus uh, 31.82 times 0.857 is 27.27 plus 77.9 times 0.286 is 22.28 when you add this together you get that the projection is equal to 63.2 that's the projection along AB so let's call it F along AB now this is F along AB. This is 
f so this is f perpendicular to ab which is the one we're missing f along ab comes out to be 63.2 f is 90 so you can find this force by using the Pythagorean theorem which says that f perpendicular to ab square plus f along ab square is equal to f square so the perpendicular is the one we don't know square plus along ab 63.2 square and this is 90 square when you solve you're going to get that the perpendicular force is equal to 64.1 so this is the perpendicular and this is the one along or parallel to ab final answer final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.